Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. The late Dr. Michael Mosley is among medical professionals who have been deepfaked in social media videos promoting health scams, an investigation has revealed. TV doctors including Dr. Hillary Jones and Rangan Chatterjee are also caught up in the worrying trend alongside the late broadcaster, who died at the age of 67 after he went missing in Greece last month. A deepfaked video, which was circulated online after Dr. Mosley's death, poses as the late broadcaster talking about a product that normalizes blood sugar levels. The fake video then tells diabetes sufferers to forget about insulin and other medication in what appears to be a vile scam. None of those who appear in the videos, which are emerging on Facebook, endorse the counterfeit products the deep-faked videos are promoting. Some of the products that are currently being promoted using my name include those that claim to fix blood pressure and diabetes, along with hemp gummies with names like Via Hemp Gummies, Bouncy Nutrition, and Eco Health, Jones said in the BMJ report. A fake Dr. Jones appeared in one fabricated video, which recreated him on ITV show Lorraine, where he often appears in real life. While deepfakes have been around for some years, the technology is growing more sophisticated and the videos more convincing, with less audio lags and obvious video errors. To view this video please enable JavaScript, and consider upgrading to a web browser that supports HTML5 video. Dr. Jones explained how the videos were difficult to control, because even if they're taken down, they just pop up the next day under a different name. John Cormack, a retired doctor who worked with the BMJ on the investigation, said, The bottom line is, it's much cheaper to spend your cash on making videos than it is on doing research and coming up with new products and getting them to market in the conventional way. A Meta spokesperson told the BMJ, We will be investigating the examples highlighted by the BMJ. We don't permit content that intentionally deceives or seeks to defraud others, and we're constantly working to improve detection and enforcement. We encourage anyone who sees content that might violate our policies to report it so we can investigate and act. The BMJ recommend if you find a deepfake to contact the person endorsing the product to see if it's legitimate, leave a comment questioning its authenticity, and report it to whichever platform you find it on. This isn't the first time a celebrity has been used in such videos against their will to promote products they have no relation to and definitely don't endorse. Taylor Swift's likeness was used to flog what looked to be Lou Cruzet cookware in an advert, which turned out to be a deep fake and was reported to be a scam. In a less convincing scam, Tom Hanks seemingly flogged a dental plan, before he took to social media and informed fans this was an AI deep fake and most definitely not him. Disturbingly, in March it was revealed that over 250 British celebrities are among thousands who have been victims of deep faked porn. One of these was Channel 4 News presenter Kathy Newman, who said, It feels like a violation. It just feels really sinister that someone out there who's put this together, I can't see them, and they can see this kind of imaginary version of me, this fake version of me. In January this year, pornographic images of a deep faked, again, Taylor Swift went viral on X, leading to the social media site's blanket ban on all searches for her name in an attempt to contain their inevitable spread. They were viewed millions of times. Anti-malware software company Norton lay out how to spot a deep faked video. They advise to look out for. You can also use Google's reverse image search tool to see if an original image has been manipulated. In January Zoe Ball took to the radio to alert fans to a scam, which used her face as an endorsement for a financial plan. Zoe said, A lot of people are calling it Apex AI, I think, and it's making out that I've invested some money into this financial scheme and done quite well from it. Billie Eilish fans reject extortionate tour ticket prices costing £400. Westlife released single in Mandarin for huge Chinese fanbase, but there's a catch. Katy Perry's latest comeback reminds us of something we'd rather forget. Glastonbury 2025 headliner predictions as